Well, hello again. <clears throat> I think three times is a charm. Uh, as you can see, we uh, made our funnel a little bit bigger. Um, it's supposed to be 10 inches. And as you can see, the pan sits slightly down in there, forcing the heat up, uh, up and around the, the pan. Still leaving plenty of room for it to exhaust. Get a good draft. Um, it tends to, it might have died down just a little bit here. I stuck, push some in there and sometimes that'll cool it off a little bit and then it'll take off. Well, our oil is uh, 350, and we couldn't break 200 last night. And just got a little over uh, 300 with our second design, or the first funnel, where the pan set up a little bit. <clears throat> And down below where the fire is, we're at 509 degrees. So, uh, I think, uh, kind of learned a little bit here, if, if, if anything. up to 360 but it for some reason isn't very uh, consistent showing the pan the edge of the pan at 313 and, uh, right at the bottom of the pan I think our fire kind of, not sure what happened. The first sticks I stuck in there were getting short enough that they they finally kind of made it over the edge in there. There we go. Thinking that uh, that fuel shelf, even though I think the ratio is right, uh, I don't think it hurt to come up and I, I did taper that a little bit. I guess another experiment would be to, instead of it being wide on this end and narrower down at the bottom, maybe if it was the other way, it would cause more of a vacuum. I don't know. <clears throat> and I was going to check to see how far in there that stuck. I'm pretty sure it just goes to the edge. But if this is uh, kind of where a person just said, well, that's good enough, I think, uh, you know. And it kind of seems like about 350 is going to be, at least with this wood and conditions, uh, about as hot as it's going to get that oil. But it's a pretty small stove, uh, and anyway, well, I think we're gonna we'll uh, measure that uh, and make a grate for it. <clears throat> so, being how we had to go larger, it's now you know you could probably put four patties on there. Big old large steak, like a T-bone from a Holstein will cover that whole thing up. So 
So we solved the problem. I guess that's the that's the main thing, and I think we got her pretty much uh, wrapped up here to a usable uh, piece of equipment. Well, thanks for watching.